Hi guys and welcome to another Makeup Talks! And this week, well, we'll be doing a review and it's another Charlotte Tilbury product. I know you guys are probably sick of me showing you Charlotte Tilbury, but I'm so excited because it just got to the United States and it's fun, you know, to kind of experience a new colossal brand that is Charlotte. This week I'm reviewing the powder. So it's the um, Airbrush Flawless Finish. So it's this one over here. Ooh, the lights make it look so crazy. It comes like this, it comes in three shades, and it's a setting powder for your makeup. And what's special about it is, is that it's formulated with rose wax and almond oil. I said that so slow so you guys can remember the two ingredients. But why is it different than other powders? Well, the rose wax and the almond oil are a little bit more uh, hydrating, more moisturizing, so it makes your skin look smooth and flawless. If you have oily skin, this would be a good one for you because it will absorb some of the oils um, with the rose wax. You know, it keeps you, keeps, gives you that matte type of finish. But if you have dry skin and you're worried about the powder looking too dry on you or cakey or like a desert, it has a rose wax and the almond oil. So that gives you a nice flawless finish and you don't have to worry about it being too dry. I wouldn't put a lot of it though if you have dry skin, you know, but this is a good powder to get if you're worried about your skin looking too dry or if you've been looking for powders all your life. Unfortunately, the powder only comes in three shades, which is kind of a bummer because it doesn't cover everyone's skin tone. The first shade is fair, which is really, really pale. I think the second one's called medium. Yeah, it's called medium, I just looked down. And it's kind of like a yellowy, warmer tone. And the third one is deep, which is a dark, um, dark brown tone. Uh, don't be fooled by what they look like in the compact, they look at least four shades lighter in the compact than when you compare it when it's to, into your skin, especially on top of a liquid foundation, they tend to go out a lot darker, so uh, I am wearing number two and I like number two and I would consider myself a little bit more tanner than most people, but that works for me. Deep is really deep, so it's for people that have like really, um, if you have like a deeper skin tone or you have a deeper tan, and it tends to be on the orangey side, it'll be good for you. Um, it's very neutral, so it works for both undertones. And uh, yeah, it's a really good powder to try. The only con I have about this powder is that it doesn't last a long time. I seem to go through it so quickly. And the other thing that's annoying is that it doesn't come with the sponge. So if you're one of those people that like to touch up on the go, um, you won't be able to do that unless you carry a little brush with you. Um, I have used this powder for touching up and it's amazing for that so I don't understand why it doesn't come with a little sponge and a compact so they can throughout the day. Anyways, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. Uh, if you try the powder, let me know. And I hope you guys enjoyed this week's makeup talks. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and don't forget to follow me or check out my other social media for more. What would Victor do? See you guys next week. Bye.